Greetings and salutations from Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Rock. And before I decided to do the review for this movie, it's going to be hard to see. It says Hackers. That's the awesome movie that I can't wait to review. I have to review two other pieces of cinematic wonder. Yeah. Where to begin? Well, I guess I should start off with no. this one. Since this is kind of the one that um started this one. You know, don't worry, there'll be other ones to come. I just wanted to do these because since I have the DVDs and the covers and all that stuff, then I want to do these reviews so everyone can see them. Um, yeah, and I guess the first joke I want to make is, um, you notice how this movie is treated with a little less respect than this one is? Yeah. I would love to correct that, but, uh, it's like 2 a.m. in the morning, and I don't really feel that way right now. But anyways, you know, you know the whole story, she marries, you know, it's been like three movies since these two idiots got together, and they did, well, this is what most reviewers probably say, they did nothing. You know, except for having some decent battles. That's pretty much it. Uh, she gets married to Edward. Oh, wait, that's not Edward. This thing is Edward, but who cares? There's, 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 I get his name wrong. Anyways. You know, they basically have their wedding night and their honeymoon and, you know, and then, you know, wham, bam. And then have sex, which actually, that's the part I kind of enjoyed, not because I enjoyed watching it, but after, you know, they showed the night, af the day after they did it. I kind of just was like, so maybe this is the reason why they only have sex once. <laughs> I mean, come on, you can't do it 500 times after you break. I mean, after a while, you know, breaking the bed about 500 times gets a little pricey, I think. And, you know, they're supposed to be teenagers, so, uh, they probably don't have much money. Anyways, that's another thing I have a problem with this film is. If it's so dangerous for them to have sex, like most reviewers have said, why do they have condoms? Why? I mean, what do you think they're doing on their wedding night? Come on! I mean, I guess they don't have industrial both strength and vampire condoms to keep them from doing that. Uh-huh. Anyway. I think it was stupid for them to get pregnant, you know, well, for them to get pregnant, and yes, I know, Edward acts like a complete idiot and in that part, and yes, I think it's sexist towards men, I think it's incredibly stupid, for, but I think overall, it's incredibly stupid for either one of them to get married, okay? I think by this point, this woman should be lucky, she ain't a minion. Okay? Vampires have minions. This creature should be a minion. Okay? This... Sorry. Jacob, whom... You know, I don't hate him, but... Come on, dude. She isn't worth it, alright? She just isn't worth it. Go find someone else. I know, I get the idea of how is to be in love with someone, but you know, if they ain't chasing you, 
I think it's wise to just stop pursuing them. Anyways, on to the second part, which I really was okay with. I mean, I didn't like it, okay? I didn't like it, because, see, here's another aspect I didn't care for, was if the child could have possibly died, and not just because, because there are other reasons to why teenagers shouldn't have babies. Because there are studies in dogs having babies way too early, okay, or prematurely. The pups will be genetically messed up, okay? Just a stupid idea. Doesn't matter if they're mixed, doesn't matter their pedigree or whatever. <laughs> this creature could have died. She could have died because, well, vampire. But funny thing is, a long time ago, women used to die in childbirth because we didn't have things like prenatal well, health and stuff like that. Now we kind of do, but you know, the reason why teen another reason why teenage girls do not. And I don't know this isn't quite entirely true, but some teenage girls do not know when they are pregnant. Or they don't get those symptoms or something. I don't I don't want to go into it too much. It's not that important. There are other things I kind of disliked about this movie. Um, I will have to say, yeah, the part where she finally talks to this guy, you know, the part where she stops and tries to fight the neck of a nearby mountaineer. <laughs> Almost this close. It would have been awesome just to see her do something vampires. But it's like, nope, can't do that. Too dangerous. Even though you are a vampire, I would have accepted you doing that, but whatever. Anyways. Oh. She finally talks to this guy. And does a sniff and says, Wow, Jacob, you really do smell. Okay. I'm not sure if uh, Edward's supposed to be or, well, technically it's Taylor and a lot there, but whatever. I'm not sure if he's supposed to be Hispanic or not. I just think it's racist that we treat him badly, okay? That's all to it. I don't care. It's, I just find it racist. Okay. Then you have... Oh, right. Yeah. We're going back to resume here. You know what? And I'm going to dignify her with that name. I'm just going to call her what other people have called her. And I believe it was from my favorite character. Huh? Favorite reviewer. Who will go by the name of... I think it's Erod, the Blockbuster Buster said stupid name yeah that as if anyone cares when in frickin thing no offense to the child I don't have any agreements with the child I only have it with the parents okay just the complete irresponsibility irks me being a adopted child uh, my uh, bio person well, I'm not going to go into too much, but let's just say she wasn't old enough to be having me, okay? That's it. However, and like I said, all the health problems associated with teenagers having pregnant, being pregnant, okay? That hurts me. Um, I will have to say I kind of enjoy resume. Renesme, yeah, there we go, Renesme. I apologize for not pronouncing her name right, but I don't really care either, so. 
Anyways, then it goes on to being like. <sighs> I think they had other really good actors in this film besides the other two. Like the Irish ones. I don't think they did much of anything, no offense. But they had to do the typical Irish um, joke, which is, you know, they wanted to drink blood. Which I'm like, well, so do you idiots. You want lots of blood, usually. But that's besides the point. Um, I will have to say... I find the Volturi, Volturi to be irritating. Um, you know, I do kind of enjoy the big red eyes on their eyes. I mean, my God. But there are, there are albino skunks with red eyes that don't capture this. It's just not natural, man. But then again, they're not supposed to be natural. But I'll have to say, some of this, some aspects of this film I did think was actually kind of intelligent. Somewhat annoying because, and not just because it's a teen film, God knows, I heard that excuse already. It's just stupid as a film altogether. You know, people compare it to Harry Potter, and I'm sorry folks, that's another thing I get tired of, Twilight in the Harry Potter, but that's besides the point, it's annoying to me because <laughs> It's not the same thing. But anyways... I mean, I get the point of what uh, Doug said about these two films having to deal with um, abortion, because, well, yeah, it does kind of have to deal with that. The only difference is I don't think they try to take away your child when you want to put it up for adoption or have it aborted or sent away or something. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. I think... Okay, we'll just say Taylor and Lautner gets to have the child as his own since he imprinted on her, which, yeah, you got a point. That is kind of pedophilic, but there are animals that do imprint on other human beings. Now, of course, it's usually the you, the younger ones. You know, you know how chicks or baby animals will imprint on other people, and you just smell and everything. It's just kind of a, oh, okay, this is my mommy, this is my daddy kind of deal. That's all it is. But, that is kind of, like, really? Oh, yeah. That part also where, um... Not Edward, but Taylor Laudner calls the child... Nessie? <laughs> this is something I don't understand with people and nicknames. I mean, this is something that I think some moms actually do. They freak out if anyone uses their child's name or takes it and makes it into a nickname. It's like, well, Nessie and me, it's like, you call my child after the Loch Ness Monster? Which I kind of laughed at that only because this is where I kind of feel like Bellatrix is strange. And Bella somehow were just channeled into each other. Anyways, um, my opinion on these two both movies is they're both equally stupid, obviously. Well, and I find them both equally annoying. Oh, yes, I have to say the fight towards the end of the movie. Weak sauce, my friends. <laughs> Weak sauce. I mean, 
I mean, I liked the fight. The fight was great, but then it turns out they didn't even do that, which saved thousands of characters. Of course, of course, in the realm of Harry Potter, we have three characters die trying to save Harry. And, you know, I can accept death in a movie. What, what is it with this? You know, Harry? I wanted Harry to die. I'm going to be honest. I wanted Harry to die at the end of the movie. It's because it would have been fine. I don't care. But he lives, which, fine, you know, he deserves to live, I guess, kind of. But maybe a few characters in this movie deserve to live, but... Frankly, <laughs> they could have all died and no one would have cared except for the people in their countries. That's it. That's all. But, overall, these movies weren't bad, bad. I sort of find why people like Twilight. It's mostly the, um, it's the drama. It's, it's just, oh, Edward, oh, Bella. Soap opera, nonsense, cool, bull, well, hockey, okay? That is it. That is the only reason why you should even like these. And I'll admit, come on, we all had those shows growing up. That, you know, that one show that you didn't watch in front of everybody else. And this is not just something you watched when you were little. You probably do that now. Uh, because I did it not too long ago with Full House, and hey, if I'm not afraid to admit to having a show where I cried and, you know, had an emotional moment, then neither should you. But I'll be honest, I really, if I hate these films at all, it's mostly because you have teenage girls just sitting there going, oh, but Edward loved you so much. Honey, the word is not love. It is lust. Okay? It has the same, it's a four-letter word. It starts with an L, but it's not the same thing as real love. Okay? Anyways, I meant this review to be a little bit more organized in my head, but, you know, that's what you get. Anyways, on to what I what can't wait to do, and you won't see it until maybe Friday. Hackers. Yes! <laughs> and damn these two to hell. Don't worry, I plan to do more reviews, but this is it. Anyways, I shall toss these movies into the pits, well, no, the pit of hell is too good for these. I believe something else is in mind. I think I know what it is. Bring me. Nah, it's, that's still too good. I guess that pit of hell will have to do with these two. Anyways, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and see ya. It's Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm, saying, hey, follow me on my Tumblr, my Twitter, and good night.